Hey, welcome to Versatile Gun Dog. I'm Adam Bedeau, new dog owner here with... And I'm Scott Brosher from Pine Hill Kennel up and, in Rockford. Uh, yeah, we met, what, a couple years, couple years back? You're about a year ago now. Yeah, it has been. It's a quick year. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes, through the, through the drought world. Um, but, I mean, you have shed a ton of light on, on the, the gun dog world and dog handling. Um, I mean, I had a, a lab, but... Uh, he has since passed, and I mean, I, I didn't go to any type of formal training and just kind of winged it. Yeah. Um, and then we connected, and I'm like, holy cow, like, you've opened up a whole new world for me, um, and, and here we are. So I've got to ask, uh, you know, what is a versatile gun dog? Because when I got into this, I'm like, everyone's talking gun dogs and hunting dogs. Yeah. Like, so it's overwhelming. It is yeah. overwhelming. So yeah. what is a versatile gun dog? Simply a... a, a a versatile gun dog is one that is just capable of doing a multitude of different tasks. It doesn't have to be anything specific. Uh, it's not necessarily, it has to do um, bird hunting and waterfowl and tracking. It can be a multitude of other tasks. So uh, in, in, in the realm of the Drathar, basically their focus is a dog that is capable of being mentally stable, in the field for birds, uh, being functional as a waterfowl dog or retriever, and also as a, as a functioning tracking dog for recovery of game. However, it's not limited, as you know, uh, to just that. They become more of a, um, a fixture in our families as well. Yeah, and, and so for me, when I you know think about a, a versatile gun dog, it, it goes beyond just its capabilities in the field and and, and what it can and cannot do out there. But, you know, I've got two young kids at home that are oh, going to be seven and nine, you know, a wife. And, you know, they need to have the obedience inside the house and, and the mannerisms inside the house around, you know, the kids and, you know, their friends that are coming over and guests that come over. So it goes beyond just you got a cool hunting. The dog. scope of hunting. Yes. yes. Yeah. 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 And that so you have kind of walked me through this entire process and it is a process. Um, but for someone who doesn't know and, and hasn't been around the industry before or, or professional trainers and, and even looking online and seeing, you know, what other training resources there are, you just, it's overwhelming and you don't really know where to start. And you have this system where it's like these, these building blocks, you know, and over the course of the year, it's been amazing to see what these dogs have turned into. I appreciate that. It, yeah. uh, it's been a fun journey so far, and uh, you've got a long way to go. Yeah, it does not end. Well, that's why we, we can record yeah. and document this stuff yeah. so I can, I can remember it. Right. Uh, but that's the idea uh, behind Versatile Gun Dog is to, is to capture and document a lot of this step-by-step uh, -step process on, on you know, how to get your dog to where you would like it to be and, and you know, talk about the, the different routes. You know, I mean, there's hard dogs and soft dogs and, you know, just the different yeah. personalities and the different training, you know, tactics that you can, you can implement based on your specific dog. Cause mm -hmm. let's be honest, there's no like one size fits all approach. Correct. There's, um, no matter what dog you get, no matter what breed, there's a, a relative s system that every trainer has that he kind of follows to get where he wants to go. But you're absolutely right. Every dog's rather unique, and they may need a little tweak here or there. And understanding that dog is is uh, critical to your success with your dog, building that relationship over time. And as you know, training just never stops. It's it's a forever endeavor. Yep. So. Yep. It's a commitment. So yeah. follow along, and uh, we'll. Uh, you know. I'd I guess I'm going to learn off of you, continue to learn off of you, but you know, we will, uh, you're stuck with me. Yeah, I'm stuck, but no, it's been, it's been a fun <laughs> journey. So follow along and you know, you might learn a thing or two and I know that's kind of the idea and hopefully we can help you like Scott's helped me and it'll be fun. Cool.